Hi guys, Paul Pluter. Paul Pluter channel, Archie Luxury channel. I'm doing a paid review for Richard. Hi Archie! Just sent you a donation because I appreciate your videos. Uh, though since then a question has come up. I'm new to luxury watches. I just bought a Jager Le Coutre master control date with silver dial in May. Yes, I know you prefer black. Well, I don't hate the silver. No, 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 no! I don't hate the silver. Uh, I'm now considering a Rolex Explorer 1. I have 6 and a quarter inch wrists. So 39 mil is about as large as I want to get for a watch. And I don't feel I want the 24 hour complication of the Explorer 2. Nor do I want a date to, to keep having to set. Is the Explorer 1 really a Rolex steel sports watch? It's not much different than the Oyster Perpetual with black dial, other than the the numerals and loom. I think the Explorer 1 or 2 may be the only steel sports Rolex I can actually get. My AD did have an Explorer 2 with white dial in stock. I'm on the waiting list for an Explorer 1 and they said they would get one soon. Should I even get a Rolex? I know the market is very hot and I would not expect any discount, but aren't they going to get more scarce with Rolex cutting production. Is Rolex Explorer 1 a good choice? I will make a donation. Thanks, Richard. Well, Richard, you've come to the right place. This is the Archie Luxury Channel. You can ask your horological questions. Now, let's have a talk here. Um, you had a, you've got a Jager Le Coutre Master Control Date Silver Dial. Keep it. I hope you're not fucking selling that, Richard. Good, good choice. I love a uh, Jager Le Coutre. I myself, I myself have the Reverso Grand Date. Yes, I love my Jager Le Coutre. Uh, you're now considering an Explorer 1. Well, I think every man needs, every man needs, every man needs, fuckers, a Rolex. Rolex. Uh... Explorer 139 mil. Um, okay, so to answer your questions here, is the Rolex Explorer 1 really a steel sports watch? Yes, it's the fucking quintessential sports watch, Richard. Come on, man, work with me, not against me. That is the quintessential sports watch. It is everything a sports watch should be. It was a high-grade movement in a steel waterproof watch. This is the same basis that Edmund Hillary took to the top. This is why the Explorer 1 is kind of being attributed as the Sir Edmund Hillary type watch. Even though it wasn't technically named Explorer 1, it was a high grade, high grade movement, chronometer grade movement. It was a steel watch it was waterproof, no date. <laughs> That's what it is. It's an Explorer 1. So when you say, is it really a, a, a sports watch? This is the sports watch that started the sports watch genre. Okay? This is where it all fucking began. It's not much difference <laughs> than an Oyster Perpetual with black dial other than numerals and loom. Well, that's more how it has come in time there. But believe you me, the Explorer 1 definitely is a sports watch. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's a very cool. The Explorer 1 is a very cool watch. Very, very cool watch. Uh, I think it's better. I'd rather have an Explorer 1 than an Oyster Perpetual. Okay? Yes, yes, indeed. Okay? I do prefer the Explorer 1. I think the Explorer 1 or 2 may be the only steel watch sports Rolex that I can actually get. Well, yeah, okay. The Explorer 1, you, 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 um, I, I think the Explorer 1 is a great watch. Um, look, different dealers. There's, there is a, there is a very much a shortage, but Milgausses can be found. If you were looking around, you, you will get something. So, don't rush and must get this because it's available. Uh, 
there's supply and demand. You could always pay a premium and get what you want. But I, I don't see any problem getting an Explorer 1. Explorer 1s are cool. Um, so you're kind of jumping all over the shop, man. Just fuck and stay still. I can answer your question. Your question is, another question you're throwing at me is, should I even get a Rolex? Yes, every fucking man, every man needs a Rolex. Every man needs a Rolex watch. They only need one. They need a Rolex. They need a Rolex watch. That is what every fucking man needs. They need, they need a Fucking Rolex. Rolex. That's what they fucking need. They need a Rolex, man. I know the market is very hot and I would not expect a discount. Well, try them. Try them. Can you give me a discount? Can you give me any freebies? That's what you need to say. But aren't they going to just get more and more scarce with Rolex cutting? Well, who knows what Rolex is going to do? Who knows? I've got some Americans telling me they can get steel sports Rolex within a reasonable time. Other people are saying it's a Ponzi scheme. It's all over Red Rover. So, in my opinion there, <clears throat> um, who knows? Who knows? <coughs> now, you're firing questions off like a fucking... Um, like a machine gun is firing bullets out here. All over the shop. All over the shop. And then you say, is Rolex Explorer 1 a good choice? Yes, Richard, it's a very good choice, man. Every man needs a Rolex. Every man needs a Rolex. They need it. They gotta have it, fuckers. They gotta have it. You gotta have a Rolex. You gotta do it, man. I don't know how to explain it to you. Yes, 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 yes. Get it, and your life will change. Girls will find you attractive. You will suddenly find you got a happiness and fulfillment in your life. Your life will get better, and everything will improve. Every man needs a... Rolex. Every man needs a Rolex. 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 Every man needs a Rolex. That goes without saying. Every man needs a Rolex. Every good boy deserves fruit. Every good boy becomes a man. Every man needs a Rolex. That's the way it goes, Rich. Work with me, not against me. Every man needs a Rolex. Waterproof. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to weddings. You can wear it if you're charged with embezzlement. What happens if you suddenly one day the police come through the door and charge you with something? You go into court. You need to wear a Rolex. Steel Sports Explorer 1 would be a good choice, my friend. That's what you gotta do. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. That's what you wanna wear. A Rolex. Every man needs a Rolex. That's just the way it goes. It is the deal that's been done. Every man needs a Rolex, okay? <clears throat> that is what has to happen. It's how the universe spins around. Every man needs to get a Rolex, Rich. This is the way. Tell me what you fuckers, fuckers think of that. <laughs> Only signing it because it costs nothing. <laughs> so this is the congratulations to everybody. Guys, it's really dishonest to jump into bed 
with garbage. It's really dishonest. It's really dishonest. I mean, I, I've been approached hundreds of times by shitter brands. I said no. I said no. No shitters. No shitters. So just remember that when you're picking your YouTube gurus, don't always go for the one who everything's wonderful, everything's great. Because it ain't the case. It ain't all fucking wonderful. Oh, and don't forget, fuckeroonies, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And don't forget to mention the Archie Luxury Travel Channel. That's where I'm doing live shows, fuckers. Yeah.